Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Beyond the Beyond. Last time we infiltrated Bandor Kingdom, and uh, now we've inside the dungeons to find locked doors. Remember that locked door for later. Also, try your best to conserve as much MP as possible in here, because we're really in it for the long haul. In fact, I would recommend not really healing up until, um, you, um, until you really need to as far as your LP keeps on running out. So yeah, let your characters get groggy. Let them, um, waste their LP up until about their LP comes down to around 10. At that point, because you don't want them dying, at that point, then start healing up their VP using David and Annie's MP or any kind of herbs or anything like that that you have um, in your backup. Make sure that you fight this soldier. There's a lot of soldiers in here that you can fight that are optional. This guy is required. Make sure that you fight him. How did we kill him all the way from over here? Ooh! And what do we have? What do we have? Hey, the chain key! Yeah, that's why he's, uh, required. And for some reason, Bandra keeps its library down here in the, uh, basement, so I figured I would just kind of go through these books and, uh, look at them. Huh. They're really into naval power, aren't they? Oh, Barbaros? Hmm. Oh. Oh. Huh. You would think that the volcano would be much lo more, uh, or much older than 2,000 years. You would think that the volcano would be, like, several million years old. Huh. Discipline Island. I wish that these books actually, like, said something. Like, a couple of them say stuff, you know? But for the most part, it just shows the titles. Oh. Or don't use them at all. That's what I like. Right and wrong. Bandor wrong. Okay, let's get out of this dungeon. Now we're inside the castle proper. There's really no treasures to be found in here, which is rather unfortunate. Oh, it's the king. Who's this guy? Oh. Yeah, because we're kind of here, ready to kill you. We're a party of mages. Let's, like, just light him on fire. Come on. Lord Kevin's. So he is here. Oh. Oh, no. And, of course, it closes after them. Can we actually open this thing up? Let's find out. No! There's nothing that we can do about it. Great. Oh, hey there. Uh-oh. Yikes! We kind of already have... Yeah, unfortunately, the monsters in here and the soldiers, they're the same stuff that we've seen for quite some time, so yeah, I'm not going to be showing these battles. But let's go down here, and uh, let's see... Oh, no. Wrong, wrong uh, area. Can I actually go back into town? I just want to check. Seriously? Okay, yeah, so those are the only soldiers in there that we can't fight. Unfortunately. But over here, we get one of the best items in the game! The Angel's Ocarina, who I will promptly be giving to Edward. The Angel's Ocarina acts as a heal rain. Yeah, it heals all party members for roughly 20 VP, and you can use it over and over and over again, up to about four-ish times. After the um, fourth time, then it will crack. Once it cracks, then what you want to do is um, take it to the item shop and repair it, and then you can use it four more times again. So yeah, that's very, very nice to have. You do not want it to break. If it cracks and then you use it again, it will break and it will be gone, which really, really sucks. Ha, treasure! Oh, there's uh, our father. Mm, there's nothing we can do about it, but let's try our chain key. Hey, perfect! Let's actually loot this place. Is there anything here? No, there's nothing! Hey there, Dad. Hey, are you alright? Yeah.
Oh, well, every time they find me, I kill them. Can't we, you know, use our chain key to unlock the chains? Just saying. Maybe it's supposed to be a jail key. I don't know. Well, what is it? I am not your father. That's not the line. What do you mean you're not my father? Then who are you? <gasps> Holy crap, we're royalty. So we're actually Edward's brother? Huh, we don't look anything like Edward. Catherine and Norton. We saw their graves. Remember back in Dragon Cave that dilapidated um, cabin or something inside the cave and then those graves right there? Oh. Yeah, Ron was telling me about that. Where is this Quam Dar? Everybody keeps on talking about it, but nobody tells me where it is. Oh. That's why they lived in that cave. Huh. This actually reminds me a lot of Dragon Quest XI. What happened? Did he fall into a volcano? Oh, he fell into that void. Hell of a place to pick a battle! Man, I thought that you guys were friends. Why would he fight you? Oh. God, that's horrible. What a shitty mother. She should have lived for her kid. What the hell? Oh. Wow. That's why he pushed me so hard. So he wasn't a bad guy after all. Oh. We've kind of already been there. The story kind of forces us to go there. What the hell? No! Come with us! We'll save you! You're just gonna sit here and get caught with the Executioners? We can take them. We have Annie on our team, after all. Seriously. Yeah. We have to leave. Can I actually open up this door with that uh, chain key? Let me just double check something. Where is that? Oh. Oh. No! Because once you use the chain key, you can never use it again! Great. Just great. Uh-oh. Yikes. These are the executioners? Just two crap-ass Bandor soldiers? Oh, so they are going to throw them into the volcano. Huh. Reminds me of something from uh, Dragon Warrior 3. Hmm. Okay, let's go over here to the throne room with the uh, off-center throne. Kind of odd, if you ask me. And up here, there's no more treasures, but there are some books that we can read. Huh. They do have some good generals here, I've got to say. Oh, wow. The vicious ones. We've heard about that, too. Oh, I guess so. so even the king has his doubts. Oh, sorry about that. Um, I was cutting it out because this is, uh, I was... You know, I've been fighting the same enemies over and over and over again, but here we actually have a new enemy, the Razor Demon. So let's see if it can't do anything to me. It looks like it's another back row enemy, kind of like those Harpies, since I'm not really dealing all of that much damage to them. And great, they can summon help. That's just loverly. Yeah, I guess these are the upgrades of the Imps. And it takes all five of us to kill one of them. I mean, come on. Well... Maybe not so much now, since Annie got a critical hit in. Yeah, leave it to Annie. She'll kick ass and take names. And yeah, I'm leaving people at low HP, like Edward, who's... Wow. What a shitty critical hit. I thought that he was going to go groggy right there, but no! Samson would have. Samson's the only person who's gone groggy so far, and wasted some of his LP there. Ooh. Ooh! Yeah. We learned Undine, Undine, Undini, whatever you want to call her. Um, that is a summon spell, hits all enemies, but it is water or ice elemental. So now we have to find a way to the volcano to save Lord Kevins. And this is yet another bastard move that the game does not tell you how to get to the volcano. 
this is how you get to the volcano. You can see it on the world map, but you can't actually get to it on the world map. You have to go through the Bandor Castle dungeon, and then uh, go this way to get there. Oh, yikes! Oh no! Holy crap! Oh shit. They're both here. Oh man, we're totally screwed. What do you mean? They're all so busy. Why don't you just kill us? You went to all this trouble to trap us, but you're not going to kill us? Uh-oh. Yikes! Are they actually new enemies? Oh no. Well, let's find out. Wow, oh, they are new Oh, a lot of new enemies too. The Wyverns and the Phantom Armors. You guys go after these Phantom Armors, Edward. I'll let you cast fire on these wyverns in the background and taunt. Um, well, let's show it off. Why not? Whatever. It is the volcano, after all. Hopefully these guys are actually weak against ice. Oh, well, those guys aren't weak against fire. I can tell you that much. Oh, cool. Whoa! Look at that damage. Bam! Yeah, taunt like one shots them. Oh, man, he's so good. It just costs a lot, though. But yeah, I made short work of them. That's why, I, basically, I'm, I really don't use black magic unless it's four or more monsters. Then I'll deal with black magic. Oh. Can't you just kind of fly around and open the door? How convenient. Oh, it's that black knight. Huh. Yeah, that's the one that uh, Ramune cursed back at Marion Castle. Yeah, use keys to open doors. And we get the silver key. Awesome. And of course, we have to use it as an item, because God forbid we can just kind of use it. That would make things far too convenient. And both doors open with one key. Okay, whatever. Okay, here we have a new enemy, the Stone Golem. Um, yeah, let's have you guys go after the Stone Golems. It probably has a lot of defense. You two can go after the Ogres, since those are older enemies and probably don't have as much defense. Wow. Yeah, that Stone Golem does have a lot of defense. If Annie's critical hit only did nine. Yeah, that's pretty crummy. But we have a whole nother dungeon to go through. Whoa, look at that damage. Holy crap. Yeah, we have a whole other dungeon to go through here. This is really why I'm conserving the boy's MP. Um, because it's going to take quite some time to get through here. Let's see. Go after them, go after them. Um, taunt. Yeah, these guys are kind of kicking my ass. We use a Fire Drake. Kind of conserve a little bit of MP here. Um, since it's much cheaper than Udini there. Oh yeah, that's good. Perfect. Yeah, these ogres, like, we've been seeing them for quite some time now. I'm kind of surprised that they're still showing up. And again, they have plenty of LP to spare. I'm not concerned about healing anybody. The only person that I might be concerned about healing would be Samson. Because his LP is already on the low side, and uh, his defense is on the low side. Everything's on the low side as far as Samson's concerned. His VP, he's just so shitty. God. Whoa! Oh, a fire giant! Oh no! Let's go after these dark bishops, because they can heal. Um, yeah, go, okay. I was going to say maybe I can use an ice spell or something from Edward, but I don't want to waste it, because these dark bishops, they're pretty easy, and Edward and Taunt can actually deal a halfway decent damage with their physical attacks against them, even from the back row. So I'm not too concerned about them. I should be able to get rid of the Dark Bishops in this first round, and then probably get rid of this Fire Giant in the next round. Whoa! Yeah, go Annie! Man, Annie dealt more damage to the Fire Giant than the Fire Giant dealt to Annie. Like, that's saying something right there. Add to the fact that Annie has the most LP of the group, and she's just, just a powerhouse. She is the unsung hero of this game. They keep on calling Samson the hero. Don't know why. 
If Samson's the hero of Marion, I can't imagine what the other Marion soldiers are like. Shit, these enemies, all these enemies, they keep on targeting Samson. He's down to one LP now. Look at everybody else's LP totals. And then look at Samson. Like, why do they keep on targeting Samson? What is going on here? He is the weakest party member and they keep on targeting him. Target somebody useful like Annie. Ugh. Anyway, we're inside the volcano now, but can we actually rescue Lord Kevin and make it out of here alive? Find out next time when we'll play Beyond the Beyond. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.